Hey guys, I'm excited. There is something outside in which we just got delivered to us that I think you will find pretty cool. So let's go out and check it out. Hey guys, so this is the preview of the Rivian video. I hope you guys like it. I may have some mistakes in it. I've only been with the car for a few days. Be nice to me. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it gives you some information. It is a long video. You'll see different sections here. I have the preview of the vehicle, going over the technical details, interior view, and then there's also reactions to people driving with it. I will say this, the common reaction with everybody I've given a ride to is, oh my word, this vehicle does not disappoint. I believe the fastest production truck is now in my livery, so this is fun. All right, so here we are. Um, Reed from Rivian just got go done going through the whole car with me. I was able to take on a couple drives. First impressions of this vehicle is it's very well thought out, very well built. The ash wood inlay is, is so much better in person than what it looks like in the pictures. I was not able to make it to the first mile. Um, and so this really is my first time sitting in a Rivian and checking it out and being able to drive it and I'm super excited but I have to head into the speed shop so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record just going down the road and I'm gonna kind of give you guys my thoughts on how this vehicle does and I'll tell you what it's pretty incredible all right check out those 22 inch rims but you'll notice here in the time elapse we're popping up the Rivian the Rivian goes from 9.5 inches all the way up to 15 inches and you'll see it here drop back down in this time elapse video I think it's just a cool truck it's a cool thing to see um, and it really does ride very, very well. Here we going down in the low. Boom, boom. All right, let's take a walk around the truck. Now, here's a few facts about the Rivian you may or may not know. It is four-wheel drive. It has a motor on each wheel. And it does 0 to 60 in just 3.3 seconds. And it is boasting up to 835 horsepower. It does have a gorgeous exterior. I think they did a great job with the fit and finish of the vehicle especially for a startup company. This is the R1T package early release, so you'll see the yellow accents. But we'll check out the interior. So here we are looking at the interior. You can see the stitching on the seats. The seats are air conditioned and heated. You'll see the yellow accents for the R1T early release. The front dash panel and center console are both digital. One cool thing is those floor mats are kind of like this woven twill. It's really cool and they're robust. The sound system's immaculate. You can see plenty of space in the rear. And yes, the rear has its own command center as well. That is a digital screen. So there's a little bit on the interior. Let's take a look a little bit more on the exterior. Now, going around this thing, we're just gonna show you a few more features of this truck. Again, I love the lighting on it. It's totally unique. You can see the stack lights. We're gonna open up the hood. The wind hit it, so it thinks it's jammed. I'm just gonna finish opening it. There's a lot of wind out here today. But you can see how spacious the front bonnet is. Um, let's take a look now at the hood closing. Uh, everything on this is just about power. Uh, I love how the handles flip out when it's unlocked. You can see them flying out there. The side compartment door, this is a whole storage container behind it. It's really cool, it goes from left to right, has doors on both sides. They do make a camping kitchen for this. I didn't order that, I know how to make a fire and cook over a fire. Uh, here we're gonna see the back, again, tailgate powers down. The one neat feature I like about this is two things. One, you're gonna see the power tunnel cover going back, and then in the bed of this truck underneath the, 
the bed uh, base there is you can lift that up. The spare tire goes there, but it's also waterproof and has a drain so you can turn it into a cooler, hot tub, hot tub jacuzzi, whatever you want. Also in the bed of the truck is a locking lanyard system, which I can lock anything to the truck. And when I lock the truck, it locks in that lanyard cable. You can see the power tunnel cover going back and we'll close up the truck here in a second. Power outlets all the way around. There's four or five of them, 45 amps is what they can go up to. But as you can see, Rivian has thought of a lot of things here. Now remember, I told you everything's power on this, even the charging door is power. And there you'll see the charging hookup. And it also has the quick charging bottom, which you flip the door down and hook it into Rivian Quick Charger. So one other feature here that I didn't know about until my son told me was this flashlight. We also have a Rivian flashlight in the door so, which is pretty cool. So here's the Rivian screen here. You see this is one of the home screens. This is the access and security. I can open the hood. The hood is purely electronic. It goes up and down. It's powered. Um, same with the open charge port. And here you see here I can adjust the steering wheel. Um, the mirrors, everything is done from the steering wheel, which I'll show you here in a second. Unlike passenger windows, I can unlock them or lock them. The gear tunnels, left and right, I can open those as well. The tunnel covers powered, both open and closed. Tailgates powered, open only. Then here I can turn on the light to the back side as well. Over here you'll see gear guard, which is kind of unique. Um, Rivian, admittedly, they're still working on this. It's a little too sensitive. But I can turn it on and all the cameras will record when there's motion around the vehicle. And there are there's been cases of people being able to see people steal their gear and find those such people. You can go here and re review the videos in which you have already recorded. As we move on here, you'll see the light control for the inside. Uh, the cool thing is, if you look over on Jasmine's side there, on the outside trim there, I can put on lights, accent lights. Um, so if I turn on the accent lighting, I don't know how well you're going to see it here. Um, let me turn it up even brighter, which I guess you still can't see it. So. But it's kind of cool. It gives it like this halo effect. So maybe tonight I will try to show that to you guys in another video where we pull in the garage. Um, over here, again, intensity of the screen. I don't like mine all that intense. Again, there's day and night mode. You have dark mode and light mode. Here's the next one, which is our charging. Um, right now, you can see how much battery we have left, estimated mileage in based on the sport range. 120 volt. Uh, outlets all the way around. I think there's four or five of them. I can't exactly remember. Um, what's cool about this is I turn them on or off from here. Now, the good or bad news is, is when you're in the truck or not, if you leave them on, they're powered on. And so you have to just remember to turn them off. Here I can set the amperage range of what I want the circuits to be there. So if I'm in an unfamiliar circuit place, I'm like, well, maybe I only want it to draw 30 amps. And so that's cool. Um, I think I think that's a good little feature again. I can open the charging door here over here We see the different set charge limits. I can set them every day um, What I want to have done if I'm getting ready for trip extended daily, whatever uh, Charging schedule, which is cool for some of us who get cheaper rates at night uh, You may want to set up your schedule to not start until after like a lot of them's 11 p.m. To 7 a.m. 6 a.m. Depending where you live so you can set them up to charge only that amount of time uh, So you get cheaper rates at night. So just something else to think about Lastly, this is the overview of the, overview of the truck, um, VINs, everything else, which I don't know if I want to show you that. But anyways, and I can dial up Rivian support. Cool thing is, is because of the way I ordered my truck, this is actually the truck. Um, rims and all, so I like that feature. Moving over here is the different drive modes. Right now we're in Sport. You'll notice that Sport limits you to some different things on your ride height. Um, if you go to All Purpose, again, it opens up a few more, but you can't go to the lowest one. And as you can see, we're moving up right now. And so um, it's kind of fun. And then we can go into conserve mode, which is a fun one to do. Um, Off-road, which is fun. So you can go off-road. Again, they're just giving you your warnings. Um, now, you have auto. We have rock crawl. We have rally. And then, of course, one of my favorite, which is drift. And you can turn off stability in that. Speaking of stability and everything else, we go back to the sport mode, one of my favorite modes. We'll lower it drop here you can change your ride from stiff to soft you can also change how much uh, brake regen you want and then also your stability if you want it reduced 
or none at all. They're fun, all of them. And so, and then lastly, we've got towing mode. So the cool thing here with the Rivian is its towing mode is actually really good. And you can tow up to 11,000 pounds behind this truck. Here we have the trailer brake gain, um, which obviously you would turn on if it was hooked on. Again, different rides, regen, stability, things like that. Towing, it wants you to stay in standard or low um, height. Kind of give you an idea of the height. We'll go back to off-road here. So at the lowest, um, at the lowest, I believe it's 9.5 inches. At the highest, you'll see here, we go off-road, auto, it goes all the way up to 15 inches. And so you get a lot of travel with the suspension here. Now, moving on, we have the audio, which the audio here is incredible. Um, I encourage you, if you're a sound guy like me, you'll really enjoy this. Mess with the sound stage focus, because you'll notice as a driver, I can hog the better sound over to my side, which I moved it over here to kind of share it a little bit, but not fully. Um, along with this, has fuel um, custom EQ setting, which is where I'm at now. You can also uh, select some pre-select ones as well if you wanted to. It's a lot of fun. Over here, we have the different menus. This is like your traditional radio, Spotify. Um, you have your tune-in, which is, again, local radios, things like that. So this is all the local ones you can see here. This is my phone. And lastly, again, back to the audio mixer. We're going to come over here, which is now the navigation. I haven't used the navigation yet. I've only had this truck for two days. Um, but... It seems pretty nice, looks Google-esque, so that's nice. I like the Google app maps. Um, and again, you can type in your destination, you can say favorites, all that fun stuff. We can look for things. Um, I wonder where the nearest restroom's at. Hmm. Casey's, just a few miles away, eight minute drive. Anyways, moving on. I'm gonna come all the way back over here and we're gonna hit this, and this is cool. This is where we can see our camera, so you can see the different views that the camera has. I can then click around them. Um, the other neat thing in, in this whole thing here is if I go over to gear guard, we can see the gear guard and there's things we can turn on. And then I'm gonna come over to settings. This has all the settings that we have all the way through, keys, drivers, everything else. So as Mary showed you yesterday, these are some of the keys that we have with the Rivian as well as the fob that's in my pocket, as well as the phone, which I'm having issues with. The cool thing about it is if I come to drivers and keys here, it'll say one key to pair. Um, actually, they must have, let's see, maybe they dialed in and fixed something. No, nope, still showing two phones. And Rivian has been awesome. I put in a ticket. They've called me th uh, three times already. I haven't called them back yet today. They are working on this. We've been on the phone back and forth. It's been a lot of fun. Here are other apps that we can add up. I am running Alexa if I want to. Again, Veal vehicle this is kind of cool too so not only do we get the, the lock and auto lock and all that fun stuff and the proximity locks um, and you have all these operations that you can do and select whether or not you want them entry and ex, ex courtesy lighting so you get the big okay apparently I had just when you said Alexa it brought it up okay um the cool thing about this is the exit lighting has the holograph light on the cement of the Rivian, which I thought was cool. Auto puddle lamps activation. Again, gear guard's off right now, but you can turn it on whenever you want. This is cool, driver plus. Uh, again, forward warning collision, lane departure, all that fun stuff. Um, updates, this is where Rivian, we can install new updates, everything else. We are up to date. And in service, if we need any kind of service. Um, but yeah, this is fun. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, the manual. So on here, the whole manual is digital. And here it all is. So I can learn anything I want online. Let's go to controls. So little nuances here. I have heated steering wheel, seats, air conditioned seats, which is cool. The rear has its own screen as well. And again, you can do temperature con controls from either side. Um, what I wanted to show you here is if I go back to climate mode, there is a mode here on defrost. There's two modes. There's this mode, and then there's this mode, which is anti-fog. And anti-fog does not give you a fan choice. It just ramps that sucker up. Which Rivian tells me they are working on that. They decided to change that. But if I go here, I can change my fan, and you'll hear it ramp down to off, low, on, 
and I can turn things on or off depending what I want. So it's pretty neat if you ask me. Again, down and up on your temperatures. Um, yeah, I think it's a really intuitive display, me personally. I can turn off all the climate by just hitting that. Jasmine probably wouldn't like me because she's always cold, she says. Now we're back to the overview. If you move this way over to the screen and the steering wheel, this steering wheel is really neat. These buttons have multi-purposes, right? Depending on what mode you're in and everything else. Right now in a driving mode, if I hold down this button, I can change screens. You'll see my efficiency. I can hit it again. There's my navigation. And I'll hit it again. There's my tires. Now over here is your scroll wheel, which is right now is, is volume, which I don't have any radio playing right now. Um, over here we have different ones as well, which are tuning for the radio. And then I'm not sure what this one does in the current mode I'm in. Anyhow. And then over here I have my windshield wipers as well as cleaning, regular stick. Over here is how you shift the vehicle. So foot on the brake, uh, pulling down puts it in drive. If I bump it up, it's reverse. And as I'm driving in, in drive, if I pull all the way down for a moment, it puts it in cruise, which right now it's not available because we're not moving fast enough. And then if I want to put it back in the park, I hit park. So that's pretty much how all this works in the Rivian. Walking around the interior, you'll notice there's a lot of speakers around up by the head down here in the dash. The sound sounds incredible in this vehicle. Ash, the ash is real in the dash. That's one of my favorite parts of this interior. It's really well thought out. Um, again, as you go through it, the screens are big, everything's well located. This steering wheel, you can telescope it in and out, move it up and down, all that fun stuff. I've got it set to my preset. All the windows are powered all the way around. Um, the other cool thing are these vents are powered, so you see them servo open and close. That's kind of fun to me. I also like how the center console opens. Push the buttons, it comes open. We'll bring our way on up, and you'll see again, the canopy up top is clear. And you see the speakers up here. And in the trim, you'll notice these orange accents everywhere throughout the vehicle. That is early release specific. So that's kind of your dime tour of the Rivian R1T's interior. The seats are incredibly comfortable. I like the way they hold you. They feel good. They're firm. I like a firm seat like this. Again, my seats are perfectly all powered all the way around. I can do just about anything I want to with them, and they are fun. So... If I hit restore, like right now, I moved it, it notified me I moved them. If I hit restore, I'll put my seat back, my mirrors back to everything the way I had saved it in its primary location. That is pretty much all I have for you on this tour. Um, but I'm excited about it, so let's see. So I have it in sport mode, actually, and this mode is fun. It's it gets up and goes and this thing scoots so i will show you here in a second exactly how well it scoots um firm handling regen is good you don't really even need to use the brakes in sport mode i have it in heavy you can adjust it i have a stiff ride on um, i did turn off stability you can turn stability on and off and i'll show you these things we'll go through the panels but just driving it um, it does really well and i'm super impressed it's a nice noise. Um, the cabin has very little noise to it. I will also say this, the audio system is very good. And so most audio systems that I get, I like to test out with three songs. Um, Toby Mac, one of his songs. Um, also ACDC, Thunderstruck, and Kings of Leon. Those are three songs that I like to test an audio system out and this one passes very well. Um, very good system. So this truck is incredible and it gets up and scoots, fastest production truck. And I will say it does not disappoint from a performance value. Now we'll see, um, right now it's predicting about 240 miles for me until my next charge. Um, I do not have a charging station yet. Um, I haven't decided if I'm getting one. They have the portable charger with it, which really will serve my purposes for what I need. Charging station at home probably doesn't make sense, but I think we're gonna put one in Exxon. So, yeah, I think you can hear the cabin noise is relatively low. And I'm excited to drive this even more. So, I promised Mary, um, no one would get a ride. And here we go, we're gonna go. 
60, 70, 80, pretty quick. And wouldn't you know it, I take it out and it's snowing and sleeting. And so the beautiful black it was in the introduction of this video is now gonna have water spots all over it. But that's okay. First world problems. I'm not complaining. And the sun is coming back out. So funny, living in Wisconsin, you never know what you're gonna get for uh, weather, do you? Great. So I have Mary with me. This is her first ride in the Rivian. Um, I promised her the first ride, so we're just gonna go for a ride. Um, put it in sport mode for a little bit here. Ooh, and see what you think. So you like the interior, don't you? I do. Very nice. It really is. It's a nice interior. Holy crap! <laughs> Not too bad, is it? No way. Uh, wow. So yeah, this this truck Unexpected. certainly. Yeah, it, like I said, I being a startup company, you kind of had your. I had my expectations a little low, but after riding it, and I'm like, it's pretty nice. One of them. Cool. Several down there. So you can pick that up and show it to the camera and model it to them. So yeah. this is the kit that you get with it. So it has the Rivian has a few keys. It has a cell phone key, and I can sign one for Mary. Ooh. It also has this box in it. Oh. Go ahead and show them the box. Okay. The card in there is for RF. You get two card keys. And that also you have a wristband right there that you can wear as a key as well. Key. Yeah, I think you'd like that one. It's cute. It's just a bracelet. So, you ready, Mary? I don't know. We're just gonna, what we'll do is we'll just stop here on the highway really quick and we'll go zero to 60 and see what you think of that. No, oh, jeez. There's ready? a car behind us. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried. Oh, ready? They're probably worried. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're 60. So I got Brad and Tristan with us in their first inaugural drive. So we're in conserve mode, so we can hug trees right now. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> not too bad, is it? No, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> or not, not at all what I expected. Looks good. Huh? First impressions? Well, impression, apparently, apparently this is the fastest production, apparently, truck, apparently. It's not all that quick. Well, well that's because of what you've driven. Right. <laughs> to hear it yet, to... So mom has dubbed this Rosie the Rivian. Rosie the Rivian? It's the Ooh. Rosie the Riveter. Did you just say because it's blue? I thought it was black. No, I said, oh, is it black? Yeah, it is black. Said, wow. wow. I don't know why I thought it was blue. The brakes are really That's touchy. regen brake. What does that mean? Wait, that you didn't even step on the you, brake? No, I didn't hit the brake. That's, and I got it set to high. You can set it. So what it does is regen braking, what it does when you let off the gas, uh -huh. the motors turn from motors to generators and put voltage back into the battery and bridge back into the battery. So it's like charging. Oh. So... So, so like if, if like, you have a Tesla at the top of Pike's Peak, it'll have more percentage when you get to the bottom. Right. Wow. Well, this isn't a Tesla. A Rivian will wow. too. Yeah. Any electric. So we're going fast. Yep. <laughs> 60, 70, 80, 90. <laughs> You're gonna go. Dang. Pretty insane for a truck. It gets there quickly. Yeah, for a truck. So what do you guys think of the interior? I like the wood. Is That's that real wood? ash. It's yeah. real ash. I like the style. Yeah, That's your really, ash. That's real. I really vibe with. I like this part of the seat. The seats look cool. I ever tell you guys about the second job I ever had? Oh. Um, second job. Isn't it the vet? It was at a juice bottling plant. 
Uh, yeah, they fired me because I said I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's joke of the day. Yeah, there you go. So what do you guys think? I like it. Yeah, this is very nice. Head fast. Hey guys, so this is the preview of the Rivian video. I hope you guys like it. I may have some mistakes in it. I've only been with the car for a few days. Be nice to me. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it gives you some information. It is a long video. You'll see different sections here. I have the preview of the vehicle going over the technical details, interior view, and then there's also reactions to people driving with it. I will say this, the common reaction with everybody I've given a ride to is, oh my word, this vehicle does not disappoint.